I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What Polymers Are in Clothes. All right, so way back in the day, we only had natural fibers. We made all of our clothes out of things like cotton. And today, a lot of our clothes are still made out of those natural fibers, but we've also added some polymers. Let's take a look at some popular ones that are in lots of uh, clothes commonly. So this structure up here is called poly acrylon nitrile. And so the structure always has poly for polymers because it indicates that this little n is repeating. And so you have this structure and you have it repeating over and over thousands of times. And so polyacrylon nitrile, uh, amongst other things, is often used in sweaters. Maybe the one I'm wearing right now, who knows? Well, you just look at the tag, but I didn't, so that's that. Uh, next is nylon. So this is common, we've all heard on it, we've all heard of it, and it will have a long chemistry name too. Uh, but nylon is its common name that we have shortened and referred to it by. And so nylon has a signature amide group right here, which means it's a carbonyl attached to a nitrogen. Uh, and so this is actually the same signature functional group that's in a lot of, well, it's in every protein. So this is a big building block of natural materials, amides. All right, and so nylons we know are in lots of things, and they're specifically famous for being in stockings. All right, uh, and last but not least down here, we have spandex. So spandex, we all know, is used in a lot of exercise clothes. It's very tight, but it's light. It allows you to breathe. It allows old men to look gross when they go biking. Lots of fun things. And so this has a couple of amide groups, as we talked about before. And it also has an aromatic uh, segment. And so this is actually its own big molecule that I didn't have room to draw that has lots of rings with aromaticity. So like benzene. Um, so yeah, so these three polymers are very common, but there's lots of others in clothes. You can look them all up. They'll all be on your labels, um, and they do a great job of uh, replacing some of those natural fibers. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What Polymers Are in Clothes.